The New Zealand sea lions are one of the rarest species of sea lions in the world. We're here down at Cape Palliser and what we're doing is we're trialling a shelter that we've designed for the uh, New Zealand sea lion pup where we have a high mortality rate. We believe it's potentially exposure and the area that they live in is a really flat, exposed, kind of rock and boggy platform. We've been talking now for a couple of years about constructing a shelter that would help provide some coverage. So nice to see it for the first time. We're very happy for us all to be here and attempting to see if we can do something better for those sea lions you know, down in the Southern Oceans. Let it rain, let it pour, let it blow. We want this to have as much of a test as possible. I'll just kind of run through a quick plan of how it's going to go today. Once everyone's happy that we've got everything we need, then we'll start um, preparing the site to do the base. We'll get the sandbags ready to help build the base. Once that's sorted and you guys are on to actually building the shelter, then we'll start setting up the cameras. Excellent. This is the day. It's a beautiful day. Lovely weather, put it all together. We've loaded up the utes with um, a few extra bits. The test site is slightly different, so, but we're going to bring everything that they would need actually for the island itself, so that they'll know exactly how to put it together. So there's a few things that I would like to see. Hello. The way that we've been able to install the shelter relatively easily without too many challenges to understand the learnings from that installation. Another measure of success is that the pups use the shelter and it may be that in this uh, location they'll use it more for curiosity because there is actually quite a lot of sheltered areas and that if we are able to capture some images of pups within the shelter, I think that would just be, you know, the cherry on top of the cake. Cool, that's pretty good. We've got some koi log, uh, which is a biodegradable um, product, um, but it's going to help sort of pack up the middle of the, uh, the base of the pup shelter. The reason why we're going through this sort of um, process is on Campbell Island the terrain's really uneven. We won't have uh, such flat places but we will have to sort of boost up maybe one side of um, the shelter, so we'll use like the koi log to do that. And actually put it under the, the matching on the ends, yeah, uh, under the sandbags. Under the sandbags, so that's enough to get us through, right? This is uh, obviously iwi land, um, it's a protected site. We will actually respect that by not putting any foundations in here that can actually harm the lands. Generally, if we're actually on rocky ground, we would actually anchor point it and uh, put chem bolts and that sort of thing in to anchor the unit down. So we actually had to come up with a different sort of solution. Very, very much trial and error. The nice thing about this is that uh, it appears that it will, will work. Now it's just a matter of uh, making sure that it does. What do you think? It's a lion job. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Ah, oh, cool. Nice. Yeah, this is good. So putting the actual unit together it's probably a lot quicker than everybody thought. Absolutely elated, to be honest. So you actually see it go up in such a short time frame. Awesome. Nice. Very good. See it in the flesh in a real location with seals wandering around in close proximity it was just mind blowing, really. So, uh, yeah, I think the whole team was quite euphoric to sit back and relax and then realise what we've done. Oh, you're awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Great job. 
awesome job by everybody, you know, everything locked in. Great to see the kids here as part of their iwi and it's part of, you know, they'll be the future protectors of this, this land and um, for them to learn at a young age what we're trying to do here, I think it's marvellous. <laughs> Hi guys! <laughs> I don't feel too comfortable. <laughs> but the seals will probably love it. You've got the best school holiday story of anyone when you go back to school. In the school <laughs> holidays, I hopped in a seal house. <laughs> All of this environment is part and parcel of, of us. What's here is part of our ecology. Scoop you scoop it up and you scoop it up into, the, into there. And they're starting to recognise it as a protected seal colony. That's what we want, is this stays protected and preserved. That's our job as kaitiaki, to be the guardians of this area. They're going to be standing here in another 10 years. They can tell people about the papa. That's the future, that's our future. They're going to keep that memory alive. It just feels special that we can share this with others. And others are caring about it and showing their uh, manakitanga. I woke up this morning just feeling great, eh? I know I, I was the first one up and I know I couldn't help it. I just can't wait to wake up in the morning. Hopefully we got some good captures on the videos and cameras. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to tomorrow. <laughs> awesome. Rain gauge is in, cameras are in, the thermocrons are in, everything's in. Awesome. Yay. Awesome job, team. Good work. I don't know how many sleepless nights I've had in, in the lead up um, to this and just, you know, hoping that shipments would come in, getting the teams of people together, Actually seeing it in place is super exciting and a huge relief. So I'll sleep really well tonight. Morning. Morning. It's been blowing all night, real hooly. <laughs> so it's certainly going to have a, or have had a nice wind test. And I think we can just about see that it's still standing, but we'll have a closer inspection and see how it fared. Just getting ready to go and do our first set of environmental readings and check if anybody's using the shelter. Hopefully you see some seal pups. <laughs> yeah. The key things for the monitoring, we're taking weather and environmental readings. We're doing counts of the seals that are in or around the shelter. We also have a series of trail cameras set up to take images. We have little temperature and humidity loggers. We also have a rain gauge. To put that in context, if we don't see a lot of activity with it, but the weather was really fine, then that makes sense. If we have a big storm come through, and then a lot of seals pile into it, then, then that also makes sense. RIK3. Finished. Oh, so that's all of that. So now we can go and take a look at what's on the SD cards and see if there's anything exciting. This is not the one inside, which is, oh, that's, okay. I don't know if I really pick up much at all if it's, Oh, seal. there's a seal. There you go. Awesome. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's what we wanted to see. That's so cool. Well, we're seeing some faces. Just out yeah. the side of this shelter here, we've got yeah, yeah. Two, two little pups Very close. investigating. Investigating yeah. Yeah, and having a look in, I think. They're not inside it. They're, um, they're checking out the camera, definitely. Yeah. I think they're going to investigate it even more. This is the first night. Might be the same ones tomorrow night or tonight. Good signs. Yeah, very good signs. Good signs. They looked inquisitive to me. After the end of the trial, we'll take it down. We'll look at all the data and assess whether or not anything needs tweaking, how many we might want to produce for, um, for taking to Campbell Island. 
Although I am very confident this prototype would do very well in its current form, we've noticed a few things that would improve the installation time and actually perhaps have less people involved. So I think there are some lovely learnings, but there's also you know, great confidence that even the prototype we have here will pass muster. It's exciting because Good job. got Mokos here to um, observe, engage, just watching them makes my heart flutter. These people are showing them how much they care about it. They, they can feel that. I think the environment, the more and more they're exposed to that, the more important they'll see it because they are the legacy, they are the future. It's been a great collaboration. We have Mana Whenua and Doc members who will be here the whole time to do the observations. It allows for ensuring that the values of the land, but also the kekeno are protected. We're finishing our, our morning on a, I think, a positive note, going through some of those images. Yeah. We just had two just past the shelter, so that was with us here, so I think they're pretty comfortable with the shelter yeah. here at the moment. But I'm feeling good. Yes. I think we'll be, we'll be successful. Well, we're here at administration at Auckland Zoo. Um, we've been back for how long have we been back now? Two, two, two weeks. weeks. Two weeks, yeah. We've just received the video footage and some of the JPEGs um, from the camera, the trap cameras that we'd had installed around, around the pod, which is, uh, is going to be really interesting to see how they're using it. Right, we'll go on to one of the night videos, I think. Just see. Oh, look. look. Wow. wow. Awesome. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> This one looks a bit wet. Yeah, it's that's good. That, that's been for a swim, swim isn't it? <laughs> well, there's two. Oh, wow. Two pups. Oh, neat. That is, that is awesome. a real nice thing to see. We had a catch up with Flora, and she said that we've had five pups um, into the shelter for about 10 to 12 hours, and five pups that sort of entered for short periods of time, up to sort of an hour or two. Throughout that time, we had the pups inside the shelter, but we also had some pups come up and lean against the side of the A-frame shelter as well to get that wind protection. This is so amazing to see it fulfilling the task that we designed it to do, right? Yeah, not only seeing one pup in there, but we're seeing multiple pups in there playing, grooming and, you know, seeking shelter. I mean, we had, we had this idea, but not until you see seal pups in there do you really think, oh, this is going to work, you know, mm. before you have the trial. Oh, oh, that's really cute. I've got to watch that one again. Yeah. Yeah. I think what drove me once I was invited to be involved with this particular project is actually given me an opportunity to actually realise that, you know, I want to leave the planet in a better place than, than when I entered it. And I've got to think of, you know, children and my children's children as to what we're going to leave. Mahi tai. It means this project because it has been a collaboration to work on one project for one goal. I'm incredibly proud of that achievement. Mahi is work, tahi is one, and we worked as one. That was the true definition of mahi tahi. Seeing a species that loves the ocean just as much as myself, it really inspires me to, to drive and work for these guys, you know, and, and do as much as we can for them out in the wild. I'd love to see, you know, more sea lions along our coastline. And in and maybe 20 to 50 years, we might, might start to see that as long as we keep working at trying to help this population that's currently in decline.